Root of Nightmares is a raid in Destiny 2. This complete raid guide moves very fast. Use screenshots, chapters, and playback speeds to make it work for you. Get six fire team members with the Lightfall expansion. Here are the recurring mechanics throughout the raid. Nodes of Splendor are small white spheres hovering over ridged plates with a glowing aura. Stand in the aura and shoot the node to receive the Field of Light buff. If multiple players are in the starting node's aura when it is shot, they will all receive the buff. Once shot, the node will emit a beam of light pointing toward another plate with a flashing seed above it. While buffed, stand on the next plate and shoot the seed to spawn another node. Repeat this process until a circuit of linked nodes is complete. If the node with an aura is shot before a buff player has activated the next node, all nodes in that circuit will be disrupted and disappear for 10 seconds. Nodes of Decay are the same exact thing, but yellow and black. Their buff is called Flux of Darkness. Finally, while holding either buff, shooting a node of the other type will create a new buff called Refuge. This protects against wave of light and dark energy in specific encounters. Cataclysm is the first encounter. To prepare, assign two runners and four gunners. Runners tune loadouts for add clear and high mobility. Gunners tune loadouts for add clear with burst damage options, barrier champions, and high resilience. One runner activate the first node of Splendor to begin the encounter. Runners take turns activating nodes to complete circuits that cross the room. When a circuit is complete, its roots will pulse with light. After a few moments, the first node in the next circuit will activate. Complete four circuits to clear. Meanwhile, gunners clear adds and defend the runners. When needed, extend the sweeping terror timer by killing two shielded scions to spawn a tormentor. Killing the tormentor adds 30 seconds to the timer. This can only be be done twice per circuit. How to fail. If the terror timer reaches zero, the fire team will wipe. Runners stay in sync to avoid disrupting nodes and wasting time. Cross the large hallways and winding routes using the launchers to reach the second encounter, Scission. To prepare, review the map. Again, assign two teams. Split players across the gap with one runner and two gunners on either side. All players tune loadouts for add clear and high mobility. Activate the first node of either Splendor or Decay to begin. Stand in front of a launcher and shoot its darkness switch to be catapulted across the gap. Runners alternate between light and dark nodes based on which is closer. Keep crossing paths back and forth across the gap until both circuits are clear. Kill all remaining enemies to advance to the next floor. Complete all three floors to clear the encounter. Meanwhile, gunners clear adds and champions. Dolans of Splendor or Decay can only be killed by players with the matching buff. Coordinate with runners to stand in the node auras when activated to maintain the necessary buffs without disrupting the nodes. How to fail. If the imminent expulsion timer reaches zero, the fire team will wipe. Complete both circuits on the floor to stop the timer. It will not begin again until players have reached the next floor. The launchers are inconsistent. Be careful. Ascend the broken, twisted platforms. Every minute, a wave of darkness energy emits from a distant object. To survive the wave, use Splendor and Decay nodes to grant players darkness refuge. Repeat this process, killing ads while climbing. All players must stand at the exit door to open it and proceed. The third encounter is Macrocosm. To prepare, review the map and callouts. There are 15 planetary projections. Three of them are in the middle, the rest are evenly spaced along the corners of four triangle platforms. Assign four runners, one for each triangle, and two gunners. Balance loadouts for ad clear, burst damage, and high precision DPS. Disturb the boss or the nearby enemies to begin. Phase one, clear ads in the middle until two honored centurions spawn. Kill them both quickly to spawn four lieutenants, one on each triangle, and 12 white planetary alignment balls, one under each triangle planet. Runners, kill your lieutenant to gain the planetary insight buff, allowing you to see which planets above you are light or dark. Identify which planet on your triangle is unlike the other two. Call that planet's location on your triangle, left, right, or mid, to the runner on the triangle opposite yours. They must do the same. Pick up the alignment that you just called, cross to the other player's triangle, and dunk it in the location that they just called. If all four alignments are correctly dunked, the planets will move and confirm that they have been revealed. Phase 2. Repeat the Centurion and Lieutenant process to regain the planetary insight. The three metal planets each have an attunement. Two are the same, one is different. Grab and dunk a matching attunement for each of the three central planets. If successful, the planets will animate bumping off each other. Phase 3. There are glowing plates under each planet matching their attunements. Step onto the plates matching the boss's shield. This will always be the plate color of which there are two. Damage the boss until he puts up a projection, shifting its shield types and throwing a damaging tornado at the plate. Move to the next plate, the only one of its color, and repeat. The boss will switch shields again, move to the third plate. The phase is over when all plates have been deactivated. Repeat all phases until final stand. Phase 4. Stand on any plate to damage the boss. They will throw out a damaging tornado to disable the plates one by one. Damage the boss until it's dead. How to fail. There's no visible timer, but if you take too long, the fire team will wipe. Mismatching planetary alignments between triangles will return them to their original position. If the attunements are not swapped before the planetary shift timer expires, the mechanic will be reset. Failing to reach the adaptive damage gate on a single plate will prevent players from advancing to the next plate. If final stand is not reached by the end of the third damage phase, the boss will enrage, causing a wipe. Failing to deplete the boss's health during final stand will cause a wipe. Proceed through additional hallways, circuits, and platforming to reach the final boss, Nezarek. To prepare, review the map. Assign two runners, two gunners, and two stunners. Tune loadouts for ad clear and high DPS. Shoot the glowing objects in the front or the starting orbs to begin. Phase 1. Gunners clear ads. Runners complete the light and dark node circuits beginning by the start. After the fourth node is active, the aura will appear further down the circuit. Random players will receive Nezarek's hatred. This throws them in the air, damaging them. Stunners shoot Nezarek's chest to take the hatred debuff, which now has a timer, to remove it from the others. The second stunner must shoot his shoulders. When both shoulders break, they will glow either white or yellow. Call this out 
to the runners. After one minute, Nezarek's wings will glow, beginning a white mechanic. Before this, runners create a refuge, matching the stunner's call best placed on the second node of a circuit. All players touch it. Complete both node circuits to begin damage. Phase two, clear ads and gather near one of the number six plates. When a beam of energy knocks Nezarek down, damage has begun. Damage him until he goes immune. Repeat all phases until final stand. Later phases are shorter, make those refuges sooner. Phase three, for final stand, damage Nezarek until he is dead. How to fail, any players without the correct refuge buff when the white mechanic begins will die. If a node circuit is disrupted, they cannot be used to create a refuge until they respawn. Cabal Colossi shoot slow missiles that are very disruptive to runners. Nezarek can throw and suppress players, launching them off the map. If final stand isn't reached in three damage phases, Nezarek will enrage, causing a wipe. And if he's not killed during final stand, that's a wipe. That's your quick guide to the root of Nightmare's raid in Destiny 2 Lightfall. I've got full guides for every raid and dungeon in the game, all five minutes or less. And I'll be covering Grandmasters later this season. We'll see you next time. Get raiding, Guardians.